Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, and we're going to do today, we're going to do the Tavern Spruce from Yards Brewing Company, 901 North, North Delaware Avenue, um, yardsbrewing.com, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, specialty cap, I don't know if you can see it, nice American flag on there, Ales of the Revolution series, um, this is actually the first one I've ever had from that, originally, and I, I, I love it. This is a malt beverage brewed with natural flavors, and those are molasses, uh, spruce tips, and spruce sprigs. This is, comes at a 5% ABV, really sessionable ABV quality. Um, today we're going to do a little weird thing. We're going to pair it with a meat pie, since it's my dinner time. It's my 6 in the morning dinner, since I work third shift. Um, I just wanted to see how it would taste, uh, so I got the, the tavern ales right here. But I figured since it's a little lighter, I wanted something a little, little malty, a little meaty to match the meat. Um, squirrel pot pie. I uh, don't know if you've ever had squirrel pot pie. I don't know if you can in California since they all have the Black Plague. But uh, if you live <laughs> in a non-infected area, you know, give it a go. <clears throat> Ramble on a little bit. I use my Fuller's pint glass. I think I had a little water in it, but just a touch. Look at that color, isn't that? That's beautiful. This is the color, and even just a little bit more ruby than this, a little darker ruby than this, because this is just this kind of like a, an ambered color right here. A little tiny head, even though that was a good pour. I see this in English ales and things like that, just a little bit, uh, maybe even just a touch darker. Every time I see this color, and just the, the carbonation rising off the side of the glass, it just so... Um, it just makes me thirsty. It makes me want a beer. I mean, yellow beers, fizzy beers, even certain IPAs and pale ales and stuff, they don't make me want a beer. But when I see this color, or just like that classic English bitter color, I just get thirsty automatically. Lovely malty. Malty with this sweet, sweet flavors of molasses. You can definitely get it in the pine. This, this, the, the sprigs, the spruce pine is coming out on it, in the nose. And this is cold too, and it's still coming through. I had this in the fridge. I just took a bunch out of my attic, and which is cold. And if it warms up, I know, because I've had it warm, it's going to get even more big with the spruce and with the sweetness of the malt. So I'll give it a go. Cheers. Sweet, smooth, slight bitterness wraps around your whole mouth. A nice mouthfeel too. Everything wraps around your whole mouth and slides down. Nice and smooth. A little bit of a drying, tart bitterness right about here on the back of the throat. <clears throat> this beer is a little older, older than maybe fresh date required. I don't know exactly how aging works with these beers and stuff like that, but I do I did have this for a little bit. Um, so that little bit of an off dryingness might be because of that. I'm not really sure because I don't really remember that from fresh bottles. Uh, I haven't had this on tap yet and I really would like to because I, I've heard it's even better. You get the pine and you get the sweetness of the malt even on the burp. And you, you get some of this orange peel, I'd have to say. It's orange peel or like an orange zest. Kind of a, it's not like a sweet orange, it's more of like a spice, an orange spice to the, to the, to the hop base to it. It's lovely though. It's zesty, it's bright, but at the same time it's really, really dark and malty. With the, with the molasses, the dark molasses. But I'm going to give this a go. Hopefully I warmed it up enough. Or not. Hopefully I don't burn my face.
Wow. Who'd have thunk that? The sweetness that you get from the corn and the starches and stuff from the potatoes and things like that. Mixed with the the nice flavors of the meat. The, just the, the meaty flavors. Actually blends really well with this. I don't know, it, it's like with the malt and the that zest. That, that, that orange zest kind of brings out the flavors of the meat in this. And when it kind of goes down, it kind of blends nicely. I'm really glad I did this pairing because I, I didn't know. I just saw Mel and, and Simon do a couple of these and I just figured like, oh, what the hell, I'm hungry. Because that back bitterness that goes down when you eat the sweetness of the car the corn and the carrots and the potatoes stuff like that that's in here, it matches with it and makes it so easy and just blends together the sweetness and the bitterness. It makes it easy so it's not like oh, I'm trying to swallow bitterness while I'm trying to eat or it's not overbearingly sweet. So that works well. If you can get this and chicken pot pie would work too. Chicken pot pie would work just as fine. Like I was saying, uh, chicken pot pie would work too. Um, the only thing is, a squirrel that I'm eating right here, it's uh, a little closer towards the dark meat of the chicken. So I think the sweetness of the dark meat helps helps with this a lot. Um, that's the only thing I can think about. And then maybe if you wanted to do eat something a little bit like um, you know white meat and stuff like that, something drier. I think I'd, I'd probably go with this, but uh, save that for later. Right now, let's focus on this. Um, I mean, I don't know if that food pairing helped at all, but if you have any, something kind of like a, a, a nice, sweet, styled, styled meat, like dark meat chicken, or squirrel, or rabbit, uh, or like squirrel, um, in a pot pie, meat pie, or, I mean, I would even give it a go with a shepherd's pie, stuff like that, but... Uh, I figured I'd do something because I was hungry. But this is really, really good. And the more it warms up, the more you get that sweet molasses note. And it wraps around with this really dark, nice, like, cold. It's kind of like cold. I have to describe that. That cold air smell, cold air, and pine mixed together. Kind of like what I got with that the uh, one Trogues product, but it's it's really sweet. It's amazingly sessionable. It's easy to drink. The alcohol content is really well. I like the fact that it's an original Ben Franklin type um, recipe. So, like I said before, in the one, it's not the ale. Your, grandf your grandfather grew up with, it's your ale that your great-great-great-grandfather grew up with, that kind of thing, like that kind of style. I like old recipes. It's one of the reasons I like Fuller's so much. I mean, they have such history behind some of their ales, things like that, things documented from a long time ago. And the same thing with these um, these ales, the George Washington, um, the, the Ben Franklin, and, um, and then Thomas, I don't know if Thomas Jefferson's, yeah, okay, yeah, it's a golden ale based on Tom, Thomas Jefferson's original recipe, so these are kind of like ales of the revolution, founding, founding ales, so that's really cool. Um, you should definitely check this out, this is a 9 out of 10, this is a really, 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 really great ale, um, I definitely give it a go, it might not be for everybody, and that's why I gave it a 9, because of the spruce and things like that, but, uh, this has been Paul from PA Brew News. Um, just subscribe, comment below. I really appreciate all um, my subscribers and, and the people that watch my videos and comments. So, uh, until then, cheers.